wrapping up the first day of working on the Land Cruiser. Um, I think I mentioned before, it changed out the plugs and uh, didn't really need it, but just while I was in there, replaced them and uh, installed a new ignition coil, which was completely missing, still need to strap it on. Uh, that got a spark. Um, and then once we had spark, we went ahead and uh, put some starter fluid and gas down the carburetor and it started up and ran on that. And then I got to the point where we didn't have any uh, fuel coming into the carb though. So worked through that, found both filters were clogged out and I didn't have any to replace it. So, and couldn't bypass that one since it has a special fitting, the lower one. So ended up having to just blow it out to try to clean it as best as possible. Did bypass this one up here. Uh, blew a ton of nasty gunk out and just started over and over again until it started blowing all that stuff out. Ended up using gas in my garden pump and hooked that up to the carburetor. And that got me running long enough to then pump all the nasty stuff out of the fuel line. And then once I got that going, put the fuel line back on and got it started. And then at that point, it would run on its own, but it was idling extremely high, like you had it floored basically, um, up to four or 5,000 RPMs. Looked around for vacuum leaks, played around with all the hoses and all. Took an hour or two to try to figure this out. Finally found that the secondary throttle uh, butterfly was stuck open. The linkage was just binding here and I cleaned all that, lubricated it and pushed it back closed and that seemed to fix it. So here we are. Pretty good considering it, uh, I'm sure it needs a carburetor rebuild, but just to get it to where it'll run and we can move it around in the driveway, it's a great start. Um, next two things are to fix the brakes and the clutch. The clutch just goes completely to the floor. Um, all three reservoirs were completely dry, both brakes and the clutch. Added fluid to the brakes and pumped them up and found just a small leak on one of these lines back here. It was spraying on the driveway, so I'll fix that probably tomorrow. Looks pretty simple. Uh, clutch might be more difficult. I tried to bleed the clutch and broke the bleeder. Uh, so probably just end up having to buy a new slave cylinder for that and go from there. So getting getting close to making it mobile. Um, good start on the project.